Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 6. Yeah. I remember the first time I picked up a Call of Duty game. It was like being thrown into the deep end of a pool, surrounded by bullets and explosions. And yet, somehow, I survived. Now here we are back, Black Ops 6, and every year I ask myself, is this year that it changed? Is this the year Call of Duty finally breaks the mold? Well, let's talk about it. If you've been playing Call of Duty for as long as I have, then you know exactly what to expect from the series. The satisfying pop of the trigger, the rush of the gunfights, the relentless grind to unlock that one weapon attachment everybody is using. You've been there, done that, got the camo to prove it. And yet, there's something undeniably comforting about it. I think that's why so many of us keep coming back. You don't have to think too much, it's like sleeping into a comfy old hoodie familiar, reliable, and still pretty fun. But let's talk about what's different this year. First, Omni Movement. This is a game changer. It's not just a little tweak. It's a whole new layer of chaos. Suddenly you're not just sprinting into a straight line or taking cover behind a wall. You are sliding sideways. Like you're in an action movie or Max Payne, diving backward to avoid enemy fire and rolling across the floor like a tactical ninja. It feels pretty darn good. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's just another gimmick, right? Well, it's not. The truth is, this change has made Black Ops 6 feel fresher than a hot pizza out of it. It's like being in the middle of a John Who movie every time you get into a fight. And while you're over here dodging bullets and pulling off insane slides, your enemies are probably wondering how the hell they just got outclassed by someone who's just hitting buttons randomly. <laughs> okay, okay, let's slow down a bit. As much as I love sliding around like an action hero, there's a problem with Black Ops 6 that's hard to ignore. The maps. You see, Treyarch clearly wanted to make this fast, frantic movement system work, but the maps just... well, they don't always do it justice. I mean, take a look at Skyline and Vault. Those maps are perfect for omni-movement. The verticality, the open space, the tight corners to slide around, but the rest of the maps, let's just say they're more classic COD fare. Narrow, symmetrical, and small. And that's not always the best fit for a speed this new movement system demands. I can't help but feel like Treyarch dropped the ball here. You're moving faster than ever, but the maps keep forcing you into choke points. You know, it's like being in a high-speed car chase, but your car keeps running into traffic. It's fun, but sometimes it feels like a pace doesn't match the level of chaos you are trying to unleash. Now, let's talk about the other half of the Black Ops 6. The zombies. Oh man, I've been waiting for this. Zombies has had a rough few years, hasn't it? Cold War tried to reinvent the wheel, but it felt empty. Black Ops 4 went too far into its easter eggs and open world mechanics. But Black Ops 6 is like Treyarch sat down, looked at all past mistakes and thought, what if we just brought back what made this mod great? That's right folks, we are back to the classic round base formula. And you know what? It feels them good. You're no longer chasing random objectives or wandering through empty maps hoping to find a weapon. No, you're back to the basics. You're shooting zombies, unlocking doors, and scrambling for that elusive mystery box as you fight off wave after wave of increasingly difficult on there. And guess what? It's harder than it's been in the years. And that, my friends, is a good thing. The difficulty is up, the zombies are more varied, and the power-ups? Well, let's just say the gobblegum system makes a glorious return, allowing you to bend the rules in your favor. I was genuinely worried that the inclusion of omni movement and armor plates would make this too easy, but instead it become even more tense. The higher rounds, they are brutal. The thrill of finding the perfect weapon build to survive the onslaught. That's a feeling you can't replicate in any other game. But hey, let's not forget what Call of Duty does best. PvP. And you know what? This year's multiplayer is no sludge. Sure, it might not 
break the mold, but it doesn't need to. It's just solid. The progression system has been remapped. Thankfully, it's not all about the stats optimization anymore. Treyarch has done away with the grind of trying to get the best build and instead focused on making each weapon feel different. The balance is pretty great and there's still that dopamine hit every time you unlock something new. And let's not forget the new mods. Kill order is a nice twist on usual mods and you and your team have to protect your VIP while hunting down the enemies. The concept is simple, but it's incredibly fun when you're playing with friends. Nothing beats the chaos of someone screaming, I am the VIP, protect me, as you dive in front of the bullets to save them, only to watch them snipe from across the map. Then there's a control, which is a kind of like domination, but uh, with a twist. It's got that best of three rounds structure, so you're always fighting for something bigger, but teams share a life pool. So there's this constant tension. Do you go for points or do you just make sure your team doesn't run out of lives? It's these little moments that keep you coming back. Whether it's the ridiculous moves you pull off in the you know, gunfight or the panic of seeing your team's life count plump, there's always something to make you smile. So what's the verdict of the Call of Duty Black Ops 6? Here's the thing, it's a Call of Duty game. That's the long and short of it. It's not reinventing the wheel, but it's doing damn good job of polishing it up and making it fun again. The Omni movement is a blast. Zombies is back to its glory days. The multiplayer is still addictive as ever. It's not perfect, so the map feels a bit too small and the movement system doesn't always sync with the environment. But if you're a Call of Duty fan, you're going to have the blast. And for those of you who have dropped off the series over the years, maybe you'll be pleasantly surprised too. After all, it's a still Call of Duty. And that's not such a bad thing. Thing, is it? Thank you for watching everyone, my name is Ebalon, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on the Black Ops 6 down in the comments. I will see you in the next episode, until the next video, peace.